Tube, it's Amber with the Digi Stitchery, and today we are celebrating the Digi Stitchery's first birthday. Uh, we have a ton of fabric features and finishes for you guys, a few whips, and some birthday surprises, and a giveaway at the end, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, long time no see. Um, it has been a crazy January and February. Um, a little life talk. My daughter has been full-fledged in archery season. So every weekend we have had back-to-back -back tournaments. Um, just spending time and watching her shoot has been so much fun. Um, her skill set has increased immensely and her points, her average has increased. She increased her average by like six points, um, since the beginning of the, the new year this year, which is amazing. Um, so we're so proud of her. Um, but we've been busy with that. And so I've been stitching in between tournaments, like at different schools and on the road. So there's been a lot going on, but I am excited to be here today to celebrate the Digi Stitchery's first birthday. Um, this time last year, I launched just, you know, the shop on Etsy, not knowing what was going to happen, but oh my gosh, I am so glad we are here a year later. Um, it's exciting. Um, just everything. It's just been amazing. And I, I never in a million years would, would have thought I would be talking to you guys on floss tube, let alone celebrating the first birthday of the Digi Stitchery. So thank you for joining me and thank you for uh, subscribers who've been with me for a while and uh, new subscribers. I've noticed my, my numbers going up. So welcome and I'm so glad you're here. So let's get into it. Uh, let's get into the fabric. That's why we're here, right? Okay, so I did the numbers. I looked did, got the spreadsheet out, just started jotting down every color that we have. You guys, we have 85 colors. In just one year, we have 85. So I'll be curious to see what we have this time next year. Um, but 85 colors and 10 different fabric series um, that have been released. Um, what we are going to do is I'm just going to start from the beginning of our series and show you some of my favorite finishes and work our way so you can see a little bit about what the Digi Stitchery has done in its first year. So let's get started. Um, the first series was the basic color series um, where I had 27 to 28 different colors. This is your go-to colors. It, it, it's, um, it doesn't matter the season, the genre, the holiday, you can find whatever color you are looking for in this basic series. I mean, it is what it is. It's basic. Um, so with that, let's go with, with maybe a spring finish. Um, since we are in spring, I've changed over everything. I took down all the winter and put my St. Patrick's Day and my Easter stuff up. And oh my gosh, the colors are just beautiful in here. So with that, um, here is winter green from the basic color series. Winter green, you wouldn't expect it to be um, a beautiful pastel for a beautiful pastel piece, but it works. Um, this was a free pattern from She Says It in Stitches. Um, she has a store on Etsy, I believe. Beautiful, beautiful stitching. I use the called for colors. The winter green just pops um, and looks great. So there's that. And then next, one of my favorites. Well, they're all my favorites. That's why I picked them. So you're gonna hear that a lot. <laughs> But um, this is Clover and Hive by Hands-On Design. 
I had no idea. This is a, this is an older pattern, but I had no idea this pattern even existed until I went to um, a quilt shop. Sorry, there's buzz. Um, a quilt sh quilt shop, a cross stitch shop, um, and was just rummaging through all the patterns, and I saw this, and I instantly fell in love. So this is stitched on 14 count spilled tea, a great neutral we have in the basic series. Um, I love it. I did, I switched up the colors just a smidge. I wanted the purple to stand out a little bit more. So I went with the darker, more vibrant purple, but, um, beautifully stitched. I love this spilled tea fabric because you can pick and choose where you want to stitch. Um, I wanted it a little, since there's a lot going on here, I wanted it a little bit lighter in the middle, but I wanted more grunge of the spilled tea, I guess, um, on the edges. So it turned out really, really cool. So this is spilled tea in the basic series. Um, and this is just a tin I found on clearance at um, Hobby Lobby. So it's a little wobbly, but you know what? It works. So we're gonna go with it. Um, next favorite finish would have to be the monthly weigh-in series. And this is the first one that they released uh, the month of September. Um, I stitched this on Copper Penny. And oh my goodness. I love it. The colors work beautifully. I don't think I had to change anything. I think I added, I added the teal just because my fall stuff has that tartan plaid in there. And oh my gosh. I just love it. Super cute and on Copper Penny. Copper Penny, again, it could be, it's a great darker neutral, I guess. Um, beautiful for fall. So, um, let's see here. Oh, okay. So, stitching, staying with Stitching with the Housewives, um, we have Stitching with the Seasons, but first I wanted to show you my bunny garden. I just stitched this on white, Ada. But it's super cute, and I did a, a Cosmo color conversion, so that's like super bright. So I just wanted to show you. It's happy. So I'll switch this bad boy out to show you my next one. And it is summer of Stitching the Seasons. A little stray thread there. Summer with Stitching the Seasons. Um, Love it, I stitched this on 14 count parchment. Again, a great neutral. The best neutrals we have in the basic color series are gonna be parchment, spilled tea, khaki, um, and tan suede. Beautiful, beautiful neutrals that work for anything. So, um, yeah, I love, love, this. Um, and then this finishing piece was just a tin from Hobby Lobby. And then I filled it with my favorite greens. Actually, I had to go get some new, more today right before I started filming. Um, yeah, because I just love them that much. And they're on sale this week. All florals on sale. If you're watching uh, the week of February 19th, they're on sale. So go grab some. Um, so this was parchment. And then let's move on to uh, farmhouse wood. Um, I loved stitching on the whitewash wood um, by Fabric Flare, um, but I wanted something darker. I wanted um, a different take. I love stitching on chalkboard black and black fabric. I just wanted something different uh, to give you a different look, but still have that dark background to where my white would pop. Um, and here we have Again, Stitching with the Housewives. Got a little theme here going on. Uh, this is Top of the Morning, um, tiered tray tidbit, I believe, uh, from last year. And I stitched this on the farmhouse wood. It works beautifully. Um, the wood in the, the, the fabric is dark enough to where it's not going to mess with the brown that I chose. It's a little bit of a brighter, more caramely brown. And my white pops. I didn't have to put any, I was afraid I might have to put a little bit of black in the lettering to make it easier to read, but it, I really don't have to do that. It's just great. 
So this is farmhouse wood, a great alternative to chuckboard black or, or black fabric. So, all right, so 27, 28 colors in the basic series. That's a lot. That's a whole gamut of colors right there. Um, my next series started out as a mini series. I called it a mini series. I laugh at that now because our fabric releases now are just, are, are bigger, way bigger. Um, and they'll probably continue to morph and change um, as I design more. But the first like mini series I did was Summer Fruit. And this was an awesome, beautiful series of just fresh, vibrant, colors like a fruit salad. Um, I had, uh, I offered um, four colors in this series, um, key lime, pineapple, watermelon, and dragon fruit. So just a beautiful array of colors that'll be perfect for your spring and your summer stitching. So here is one. This is fresh Lemonade by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, I stitched this on opalescent key lime. And it's just beautiful. I love the green. It doesn't overpower with the green that I used in the lettering. So, love it. And then another finish I have for that series is on opalescent watermelon. I was late to the game finishing this guy. Summer was over. So I haven't um, put him on a board yet, but this is Summer Tear uh, by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And this is, you can see the opalescent in there. It is just gorgeous. The watermelon again is light enough. It's not gonna overpower the pinks in here, but your white still pops out, which is cool. So that is from the Summer Fruit series. And then next, other little mini series, which I laugh at now, was just two fabrics, uh, was Bomb Pop and Stars. Um, this was uh, my 4th of July release. And I love this one. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm so excited to be, I'm starting to like, Ideas are forming for our next 4th of July series um, that will be coming out soon. So Bomb Pop is one of the fabric releases. And this was, oh my gosh, I love this one. Uh, Bomb Pop is what it is. It is a melted Bomb Pop on your fabric. It has the melted red, the melted blue. It's just, it's darker around the edges and it tends to get lighter in the middle, but that's for your stitching to stand out. I never want to design a fabric that is going to overpower your stitching because that's why you have it, right? That's why you're wanting to stitch on it. It's going to add to it, not overtake it. But this is Bomb Pop. This was, I want to say 4th of July by Prim. I know it's by Primrose Cottage Stitches. I want to say 4th of July subway writing. Love this. Love it. It is just gorgeous. I just picked some blues and reds that worked together. Um, I have, I won't have all these listed, all these finishing pieces listed down below because there's just so many of them. Um, but this is in a previous floss tube. I can tell you that one. But so this is Bomb Pop. And now let me show you stars. It's gonna take me a second. All right, so stars is blue. It has wonderful modeling on it and it has stars separated throughout the fabric. This was my 4th of July finish for my Let's Go Ride a Bike on a Bike um, by Stitching with the Housewives. Uh, I did a smaller version because my bike basket is just smaller. I just didn't want it to fill the whole basket. I wanted you to be able to see it um, as it was hung up. But beautiful um, 
the colors work great. I did have to lighten my blue a little bit in the bike. I think I used Cool Azul uh, from Classic Colorworks, but a wonderful patriotic stitching uh, fabric that you can use. Um, it's not like inundated with stars. The stars are just spread out nicely throughout here. So there you go. That is stars. Let's go ride a bike. Let me put this down here. All right. And then next um, was our a little bit bigger series, um, more normal size series, I guess you can call it. Um, it was the Spooky series. It featured all Halloween fabric. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones to design. Uh, it was just fun and just different colors, uh, different themes, different things we could do with the Halloween fabric. Um, and my favorite, absolute favorite top of the line finish from that series is the, my bow is kind of crazy, uh, is the Howl at the Moon pillow finish. Um, I love this. I designed um, just a couple of pieces in the Spooky series, the Howl at the Moon and then Toil and Trouble. Um, these were just kind of focus pieces of fabric. They just came in 10 by 12 size. Um, to where um, I specifically added um, the moon here to where I sized the moon where you could get a good stitch in here. Um, this is Happy Halloween by Lucky Star Designs. She is on Etsy. Um, I love this fabric. It turned out so stinking cool. Um, I did a pillow finish. I have seen other finishes in frames. Uh, they just did like, a, I believe it was like an eight by eight frame. So it was just the moon and then I believe trick or treat in the middle. Fantastic. Really, really cool. Um, it's purpley. It's just got so much dimension. It's really, I wanted the fabric to, in an odd instance, oomph, like, add more oomph to your uh, stitching. So that is Howl at the Moon. And then my next spooky series finish is, I've got stuff spread out here, guys. I, <laughs> I really need to pan the camera down so you can see like the complete mess. Um, but this was awesome and it's, I need to glue it again, but I'll show you here. This was The Crow by Tiny Modernist. And I stitched this on Rorschach Test. I can say it now, I couldn't say it earlier. Um, Rorschach Test, I love it. It's a beautiful gray, murky, green, like just filled with so much depth um, fabric. I love it. It just played beautifully with the colors. Um, I picked my own colors for this design um, and it turned out awesome. I just love it. So this is Rorschach Test. Um, I believe 16 count. And this finishing piece was from Paisley and Polka Dots. There you go. Put that down. And then the last spooky series finish I have is a monthly weigh-in. Um, this one is another just cute, just adds a little bit of depth to your finishing piece. This was Widowmaker, 14 count, on um, the October monthly weigh-in. Um, and you can see it's just, it's gray, it's a mottled gray with just a delicate web throughout. So it gives you just a little bit of detail, but not too much to take away from your awesome little vignettes you got going on there. 
but super cute. I love it. So that was the spooky series. Um, let's see. Next was autumn. Sorry, I'm out of camera. Next was autumn. And uh, that featured just your whole like fall. I left out the Halloween because we covered that in spooky. It just covered some good basic fall colors. Um, a lot of them can be used as neutral colors. Um, I have found that some of the the fabrics I have designed throughout the specific series um, add in to be a, turn, turn out to be a great neutral. And I'll show you a couple of those here in a sec. But um, the first finish from fall will be the autumn, uh, Stitching the Seasons on this wonderful tin again. And I switched out, uh, for fall, I switched out the greenery to some wheat and some other uh, fall colors. Um, but this one is stitched. My washer fell off, so I'm holding it. Um, this one is stitched on fall feels. This is a beautiful color, uh, very subtle, um, really cool because it goes from ready oranges to a little bit of yellow green to a tealy blue. Um, very cool. So like the bigger the piece, so say you got like a 16 by 20 piece, you could get, if you wanted, you could do like a couple tier trays, like in this ready orange. So like the three by fours, you could do it in the ready orange, um, uh, fabric side and then do like some other designs on like the greeny teals like super super versatile fabric it's really cool um yeah i just love how it turned out so this is fall feels from the autumn series that's what it's called autumn series and then next is an autumn fabric, but I stitched it on a Christmas pattern or with a Christmas pattern. This is a great neutral. This is sage and very versatile. If it works on Christmas, it's gonna work on fall um, and spring too and winter. I mean, this is, even though it's in autumn, it works year round. Um, I love the modeling on this guy and the color. It's, it's a very muted green. Whoops. And lost two washers. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's falling apart. All right. So, um, this is Christmas letters, Christmas it's by Erin Elizabeth. This was the uh, sew along I did with Como Stitches. She started it in July. This was her Christmas in July um, stitch along and I finished it and it turned out great. I love, love how it turned out. Uh, the white still pops on this sage. Um, the greens, I, I I think these are the called for greens and they just popped off of it. So I didn't really have to do an, an, a lot of modifications. But I see I need to go back and do some hot gluing. That's all right. Um, all right. So that was the autumn series. Um, and then next, I rolled into classic Christmas. And classic Christmas was exactly what it says. Your reds, your greens. I threw in a black fabric in there for you guys. Santa's boots. Um, we had hot cocoa, um, just tons and tons of classic Christmas colors. And we did have one additional piece um, that I'll show you in the whips um, that was, um, they followed the star. It was a similar um, fabric, just in 10 by 12 as the um, Howl at the Moon piece of fabric. Um, it was just kind of a set piece where you would put in your, you would add your design to it and it was be kind of like one whole art piece. Um, so that is They Followed the Star. But my favorite finish had to be 
I'm not gonna put it on the scale. There's too much stuff over here. <laughs> um, had to be the monthly weigh-in on O Christmas Tree. Monthly weigh-in, stitching with the housewives. This is December. And I absolutely love this. The Really, the only thing I had to do was I needed to brighten up the green. And I did. I, I switched out for a Cosmo green. Their greens are just... I don't know what it is. Their greens and their teals, Cosmo, is just, they're just gorgeous. Um, you cannot go wrong with those. Um, so I did a bright green. Um, I like my gingerbread half naked. I just think they look cuter that way. Um, and then, um, yeah, the color, I did this on opalescent oak Christmas tree. You can see the shine. The green works beautifully with it. Um, yeah, it just works and it's just so cute. And yeah, so that is all I have from the Classic Christmas series. I did do like a bunch. I've got one whip from Classic Christmas series that I'll show you. Um, but I did, I wanna say some ornaments and they are put away. I could not even like get to them for this uh, floss tube. So the ornaments are staying away until probably November of this year but so we had classic christmas um and then next we rolled into marshmallow world marshmallow world turned out to be just a beautiful vibrant fun quirk quirky i can't say it quirky um Christmas series, like the alternative to the classic Christmas. Um, it had your teals, your, or your mints, I should say, uh, mints, pinks. Um, it had gingerbread and um, some snow fabric as well. So here are a couple of my finishes. I need to find them. Give me just a sec. Okay. So, I showed you Autumn from the Autumn series, right? Or Fall Feels from the Autumn series. Now I'm going to show you Stitching the Seasons Winter. And there we go. And this was so much fun to stitch. Um, this is Winter Stitching the Seasons by the Housewives. Um, I stitched this on 14 count gingerbread from Marshmallow World. I switched up the colors. I added my favorite Classic Color Works Winter Green, which is Chopped Chive. And I just went to town and made it look like a little ski village. It turned out so stinking cute. I love it. And my Rick Rack looks like little snowballs on top. It's just super cute. I was sad to put this one away, actually. Um, but, oh well, it'll come back. But this is on gingerbread. Again, I wasn't planning on having a good neutral, but it is. It's a great darker neutral that you guys can use all year round. So that was gingerbread. And then my last... Uh, finish for Marshmallow World is uh, the Frosted Peppermint Sweet Shop by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And this was a stitch along, um, I believe Cherry Hill Stitchery was doing um, on Instagram. And I stitched this on opalescent snowed in purple. I went in a totally different direction. Um, I love it. I switched up the colors. I went with a uh, mix of color and cotton and classic color works. So I brightened it up just a little bit, softened, bright, went brighter and saw softer at the same time. Does that even, you know what I'm talking about. But it works beautifully. The white shows up. You can see the snow in it. It looks like it's a snow covered um, land. And I finished it with some pink Rick Rack Chelsea's Checks on this great uh, whitewash square sign from Hobby Lobby. And I added, I took a wreath apart and threw in a mini ornament on top. Super cute. 
I left this guy out all winter just because it was just so fun to look at. It's not super Christmassy. It's just wintry to me. But that is snowed in purple. Now with snowed in, I did do something different in that, in the Marshmallow World series. Um, for snowed in, there was snowed in purple, snowed in pink, and snowed in dark mint. So it was the same pattern, I guess, uh, but different color versions of that. So that was the first time I did that and very fun, very cool. Um, I'm looking forward to stitching maybe some more of her um, patterns, Cherry Hill Stitchery, more of her patterns, maybe trying out, um, there's another one, there's like a candy cane one, I think. It, I, or a hot cocoa one. I kind of want to do it on like the snowed in pink um, to see what it looked like and maybe kind of like display them all together um, once I get that done. But add it to the list, right? There's a million things on my list. But okay, so that was Marshmallow World and that was released that in November of 2023. So last November. So Took a little break, got through Christmas, and I immediately released in January Love Notes. And this was so much fun. Um, I love all the colors. I've actually stitched something on every one of them. Um, yeah, they're just beautiful. Now, I don't have all finishes yet, but um, I'll show you a few. And they're just gorgeous. I love Love Notes. It was just a fun, springy, series um that's just bright and colorful um i i know i think we've talked about this before i get so tired of doing snowflakes and snowman i love them and my my heart is just set on doing it but then when i after like the fifth or sixth snowflake i'm like i am done i am done i can't take it anymore so it was love doing love notes and kind of switching it up and doing some uh, Valentine's Day stitching helped immensely that maybe I can like go back I need to finish January monthly weigh in those snowmen and snowflakes would just dip me in so I need to go back and revisit and do that but let me show you love notes this is another uh, tier tray by Erin Elizabeth designs this is Valentine's tier I believe Super cute. I stitched this on Love Notes, the, the namesake for the, for the series. And I love this fabric. It's got little squigglies. So it looks like little notes being written. You've got your purple and your pink hearts and you got a little bit of a pink and white modeling going on behind that. But again, doesn't take away from your stitching. That detail works beautifully. Now, I did switch up the tiered tray to a gray. The white, um, I tried it. It didn't pop as much as I wanted it to. So I used the white as accents um, and just switched it up, did a little bit of a darker gray, um, which I like. And I think the next couple tiered trays I do by her, I'm going to switch up the color of the tiered tray just to, just to mix things up. But super fun. Um, I finished this on just a block piece from the fall, yeah, fall, um, department, I don't know, it's got the fall sticker on it, um, from Hobby Lobby, and I bought a couple of them so I can just switch the tear trays out. I think my summer tear tray needs to go on here, and then I just added a bow on top. So super cute, that was Love Notes. And then behind me, maybe, yes, behind me is the freebie from Hands On Design called Let Love Grow. This was, she always does a Valentine's Day freebie uh, for everyone um, in honor of uh, her wedding anniversary that's in February. So this one was super cute. Um, I finished, or stitched this on, excuse me, I stitched this on 14 count tickled pink opalescent um and I just picked some colors I was thinking blue hydrangeas in my head um 
to kind of offset the pink a little bit. Um, I love how it turned out. It was super fun, super easy stitch. Um, I think it was all color and cotton I used since I've been building my stash. And then just finished it on a block from Walmart in the unfinished or the craft section. So very cute. That is tickled pink. Um, let's see. Next I have, I'm not gonna hold it up on the bike, but another bike on a bike finish. This is minty, uh, oh, excuse me. This is Sweet Street, Let's Go Ride a Bike from the Housewives. And I stitched it on 14 count opalescent, if you can see that sparkle, opalescent minty fresh from Love Notes. I love this fabric. This color is gorgeous. It works. Um, white works on it. Um, different colors of pink. Purples would look great on this. Um, I stitched another piece. Happy Spring. I stitched it on the regular uh, Minty Fresh, not the not the opalescent. Um, Happy Spring from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery for my daughter. Um, I did a hoop finish on that one. I've got a video in my Instagram account. Um, if you go to that, you can see the finish on that. Um, such a versatile, fun, bright fabric to use. So um, I did like, I like to keep it condensed so it'll fit on the basket, um, my bike basket here. But um, I took the dog out because I was originally gonna make the dog that sat here look like Ernest, but I just ran out of time and I wanted to get it done. So I just moved the flowers. This box was originally here. I moved it there and then I changed the banner up a little bit. I really liked alternating the flowers and then just the red hearts. I think it looks cute. So that is Minty Fresh uh, from Love Notes. And then our last series that we have um, released, that I've released, um, is kind of a twofer uh, series uh, because March is crazy and we have St. Patrick's Day and Easter in the same month. Um, we have Pot of Gold and we have Chubby Bunny. Uh, Chubby Bunny is our Easter series and Pot of Gold is our St. Patrick's Day. Um, I will show you Chubby Bunny in the whips section. I just haven't gotten around to um, finishing it yet. Um, I'm almost done though. But um, I'll show you Pot of Gold and I love, love, love this one. This is the namesake Pot of Gold. Um, this is on Opalescent Pot of Gold. And this is St. Patrick's Day by Prim Rose Cottage Stitches. I love their subway, uh, subway writing. Um, I wish they would do more. I'm still in the middle of stitching that uh, Halloween, which I will show you because I've made a little bit of progress on. I'll show you that in whips. Um, still working on Halloween though. But I love how this turned out. The pot of gold is perfect for this. Um, my initial reason for designing a pot of gold fabric was to do it on opalescent. Um, the opalescent gives you that sparkle that you need. And for instance, in this pattern, it called for metallic thread or floss. I tried it. I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. I just want to stitch. I don't want a challenge. I just want it to be easy. So this opalescent pot of gold adds to it and gives you that glimmery gold feel. So it's not too yellow, not too orange, not too brown. It's just perfect. And I did use the called for colors. I think I added one color in replacement of the metallic, but it looks awesome. I finished it on an old Christmas piece from Hobby Lobby and just added a messy bow to the top. So that is Pot of Gold. And, oh, I've got one more finish for you guys. This is, we'll go back to our basic series, uh, the first series. This is another great neutral. This is Oyster. Um, it's just a creamy fabric. Um, it's not white, it's creamy. 
Um, it's perfect for this. Um, this is hands-on design plaid all year spring. And I think I modified the colors just a little bit. It's all Cosmo though, but it turned out great. And I ended up stitching this on 14 count rather than the 16 count. Um, and added my favorite greenery again. And I found a nest at Hobby Lobby and put that in there. So there you have it. These are my favorite finishes from the Digi Stitcheries first year in business. So there you go. Uh, next, let's go on to whips. Um, I have been stitching like crazy. Um, these are a few that I haven't quite finished yet, but I'm still working on. So first one is Vintage Christmas by Stitching with the Housewives. And I am stitching this on Peppermint Swirl from the Marshmallow World series. And it's looking good. There are so many details in these houses that it's just taking a while for me to get in there and do it. So still working on it. All right, next is from a Tiny Modernist from her Patreon account. Um, she does a, like uh, every month, um, you pay seven bucks to be on her Patreon, but every month she releases an exclusive pattern. Um, and this was, I believe, November's pattern. And I'll just show you the, the photo of it because it's beautiful. It's called Autumn Night Garden. The colors are just pretty. And I'm using the called for colors on this. And I am stitching this on um, 14 count Guinness. You heard that right. Guinness uh, from our Pot of Gold series. So I love the modeling on this. The brownie, reddy, orange um, with these butterflies. Like it just, it's going to look so stinking cool. So this is um, Autumn Midnight Garden from Tiny Modernist. And next I've got Chubby Bunny here for you. Chubby Bunny's from the Chubby Bunny series. Um, this is another Tiny Modernist Patreon uh, pattern. Um, if you guys have not joined that, you really should. Like, her patterns are just so cute. And they've been really easy. And they're not, they're not like, huge at all. Um, they've been really easy to stitch so far. So, this is January's, I believe. And it is Winter Folksy Rabbit. And to me, this just screamed Easter. So, um, I thought this was a great opportunity to stitch this on our brand new Chubby Bunny series, um, Chubby Bunny fabric. So I am stitching this on 14 count, look at the Chubby Bunnies, Chubby Bunny Gray Opalescent. And um, I just picked colors from my stash. It's mainly Cosmo because the brightness in Cosmo, like I said a few minutes earlier, in the greens and the teal is just gorgeous. So I had to keep using it. I just love it. Um, so this um, is Chubby Bunny. The bunnies are there, they're all spread out. So I could have stitched it this way or this way, it doesn't matter. And they're just so stinking cute and they don't overwhelm at all. So Chubby Bunny, gray. Now Chubby Bunny, is available in four different colors. Um, similar to the um, snowed in uh, fabric that I did in Marshmallow World, I offered four colors in Chubby Bunny. And let me show you this one. This is so stinking cute. Um, this is Chubby Bunny Plum. And I am stitching the April monthly weigh-in on this. So cute, so stinking cute. Um, I love it. I did switch up the colors. I like uh, the little brown bunnies. I made them brown and I switched. I went with like um, 
it's a color in cotton yellow um, instead of the the salmon or excuse me the shrimp cocktail shrimp cocktail is in this but not as vibrant as that yellow I just thought the yellow just stands out beautifully on this chubby bunny plum and this is regular not opalescent so super cute you can still see the bunnies but again not overpowering um, and in chubby bunny uh, there's chubby bunny plum gray blue and peony so the peony is a very delicate pink very very pretty um, so I'm working on that and then okay so our next whip is actually from the classic Christmas series um, it is sugar cookie again great neutral works for any season any occasion sugar cookie and I am stitching Cardinal Kin by Plum Street Samplers um, I just pulled my own colors, uh, mainly classic color works and color and cotton on this guy. So very cute. Um, with sugar cookie, I love the modeling on this guy. It's very, very pretty. All right. And then the last whip I will show you, I have more, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to go and get everything out. We'll do a whip parade here, probably in the spring. Um, but I have been working on Halloween letters by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And this fabric is from our spooky series. This is Gone Batty Gray. I blinked out for a minute. Uh, Gone Batty Gray and I love it. I love these words. It's looking awesome slowly but surely I'm getting there and the goal honestly it's not a goal it's like a have to I have to have this done by this Halloween 2024 is Halloween yeah it's just I have to have it done because this is ridiculous it needs to get done so I've set it and keep me to it <laughs> so this is uh yeah Halloween letters uh stitched on 14 counts gone batty gray um I just picked my own colors, what I had available, color of cotton, um, and a mix uh, with classic color works in that. So there you go. There are the whips. Um, let's see. So let's talk about this huge birthday celebration we're doing, right? We got the balloons, we've got the streamers, we've got the decorations and the cake you saw at the beginning. Um, we are going to be celebrating from now, um, I am posting this video February 23rd until March 3rd. So big, long birthday celebration. It's our first birthday, why not, right? So with that, for the birthday, we are uh, going to celebrate with an exclusive fabric. This fabric will only be available from February 23rd to March 3rd, okay? Once it's gone, I'm putting it in the vault. It may be back, it may be not, I don't know. So, our special birthday fabric is TDS, so the Digi Stitchery Birthday Confetti. I love it. It's just a bunch of confetti to celebrate. Um, it also is great for Easter. The colors on here, you've got confetti in purple, blue, yellow, green, and pink. So again, a great speckled egg. Uh, you could get a super cute Easter bunny or chick on here as well. But this is TDS Birthday Confetti. And it's going to be available in Ada, Linda, and Linen. And of course, you know, you should know me by now. I had to do an opalescent. So here is the opalescent birthday confetti. You can see the shine there. There you go. So 
with that, with all the stitching I've been doing, I wanted to stitch, and I hope to do this every year, um, I stitched a special birthday stitch with the exclusive TDS birthday confetti fabric. So, here it is. It is Happy Birthday from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, I love this. Um, I picked our logo colors, um, which is kind of a corally orange, a yellow, a darker purple, and a green, sagey green. So I picked and just, I had so much fun stitching this, trying to decide, oh, where do I want the colors and all that. It was just so much fun to stitch. Um, and with this being confetti, um, Katie, Katie's the one who designed this from Primrose. She originally had like you putting your own confetti stitches in. I didn't want to overwhelm it. So I just added a couple of Smyrna's in my logo colors just to celebrate. And it's got Ernie hair on it. Um, just to celebrate. And um, I backed it with some really pretty orange fabric um, and put it on a block from Walmart in the craft section. So super cute. I glued it to this because I just want to keep it out every year. This is great. I can always put this out for my birthday, my husband's, or my daughter's birthday as well. So, um, there you have it. So, TDS birthday confetti fabric available in all counts of Ada. 14, 16, 18, and 20 count opalescent in all those counts. Uh, Linda and linen, which is 32 and 36 count. So, with the, birth, birth, uh, blah, blah, blah. With the birthday um, celebration, we've got the exclusive fabric. So now, I've got some great deals for you guys. Um, through February 23rd, say it again, February 23rd through March 3rd, you guys, because I love my floss tubers, you guys get a special code that you can use for a special deal. Um, the deal is when you guys spend $50 in the store, because you got to get your birthday confetti fabric, right? Among the others that we've talked about today, you got 85 colors to choose from. Uh, when you spend $50, you'll get 20% off when you spend 50. Um, there is a special code and I will put it somewhere around here when I'm editing, um, but I will go ahead and tell it to you. It is TDS B Day Floss Tube 2024. That is your special code. It's a thank you from me to you. Uh, for continuing to watch and support this channel. Um, this, this is not easy to do, and I give props to all floss tubers out there. Um, so this is a thank you for continuing to watch me and see what's going on with the Digi Stitchery um, and supporting um, this wonderful digital digitally printed fabric company. So uh, thank you so much. Um, again, it's when you spend $50, you'll get 20% off um, and use the code. I will put it up there again. So I got to put it there twice. Um, and I'll just leave it up there. Um, and yeah, so, and then there's other specials um, on the store as well, but floss tube you guys get the little bit better discount so you guys get um 20 off so there you go and then also when you guys use this code i don't know why i flashed that when you guys use this code um the tds b day floss tube 2024 um you will also get a special birthday gift from the digi stitchery as well so Make sure you use the code. Um, and with that, um, I am going to give away to two lucky winners, um, one piece each 
a 14 by 16 piece, so our middle size, 14 by 16 of our TDS birthday confetti fabric. Exclusive from when? February 23rd to March 3rd. So two winners, what I would like you to do is you have to like the video, you have to subscribe to the Digi Stitcher YouTube channel, and oh, you need to be a US resident only, 18 and over, those are the rules. And then what I need you to do is out of all of our 85 fabric colors and 10 fabric series that we've done, what's your favorite? What is your favorite color? Um, I wanna know, and what are you stitching? What, what are you stitching on it with um, as well? So do that uh, to enter to win a 14 by 16 piece of any count of your choice of the TDS birthday confetti fabric. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you guys? Oh, sale. Again, 23rd through March 3rd. I'm timing it with Market. Um, this is a great opportunity. There are tons of fantastic patterns out there that are coming out that weekend of Market, which is um, March 1st through the 3rd. Um, so there's a sale going on. Pick your, uh, at the Digi Stitchery on Etsy, pick your fabric to go with your new patterns that you've pre-ordered uh, from your local LNS. Um, and so you can be ready for spring stitching all of these fantastic new patterns that are out there. Um, I myself have made a list. Um, yeah, I'll be making a list and posting here in the next few weeks, probably closer to market, um, which is when you're watching this next week, uh, which will be soon. Um, and I'll put maybe my, like my fabric, my digi stitchery fabric pairings with those patterns. Um, I'll do something like that. But anyway, so that is it. Thank you so much for joining me and celebrating the digi stitchery's first birthday. Um, I am so thankful for you guys, um, and I hope that you are looking forward to many, many, many more designs of fabric that I am going to be producing and putting out for you guys. Um, I know I'm excited. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a safe and happy weekend.